Beam of China. The beam, or the beam currently led by Shannon Miller. One of the world's best beam workers. And the only person to produce that Healy on beam. Innovated from men's parallel bars. But the pressure on Neely at the moment because Mo, the diminutive 14-year-old, fell off and was out of the finals. And so this is China's last opportunity to be represented in Chief Lone at two. What a shame. The Yurchenko flick as the vault innovated by Natalia and that's the Lili spin. Jamie Hill from Canada to floor. Jamie, one of the new prospects from Canada. Put him back out opener. Julie, she can't keep up this pace of work all the way through. Very fast moving, full twisting front walkout. Nice combination there. Into Arab Spring, one and a half and punch front. Good tactical move because Jamie's conditioning isn't brilliant. She's quite chunky and she hasn't got a beautiful leg line so if she moves quickly there isn't time for the faults to be examined good fast tumbling Jamie Hill 14th position 9.475 first one has to say the floor competition has been possibly one of the most closely contended of them all today Yuka Ari of Japan having a little wobble beginning. Bold jump. Any jump on the beam where the back is arched and the quad receptors are stretched means that the gymnast is blind to the beam for a split second and to rebalance after that is very difficult. So a pack jump there probably won't count. Double back, couldn't make gymnast. She had some brave skills in there. 
The mountain itself takes an awful lot of bottle. The one that Scott Keswick will want to put behind him, Yuka Arai of Japan, has not made the magic cut or the magic eight. He pointed out a brave performance, but the quality is, well, of the highest caliber pointing for the American. We return now to the ladies floor. One of the newcomers, Podkopayeva from the Ukraine, or one of the rising stars. And the beam, not the floor, I should say. So far, everything she has done has been in the highest rating of difficulty. The second landing hesitancy she's had. That's very hard. Cut front into jump. Really superb gymnast. A little bit unstable on landings, but I think that's purely lack of confidence. Pull him back out. So in the all-around event, she's in with a shout of a medal with gymnastics like that. But the wobbles she had and a couple of the skills there, probably just enough to keep her out of getting into the final. Well, we saw Podkayeva for the first time in Birmingham a year ago where Lilia qualifies just for one final in the vault. But she's come back a year later, much more matured and, as we pointed out, a possible contender for the all-around competition. And hopefully the World Championship nerves will be put behind her after these two days of qualification. And she can pull out some of her best performances in that all-around competition. Calls in the background from the Australian fans for Lavinia Milosevic. Fourth position, 9.687, Podkopayeva. Well, that's a very pleasing score for her. She will be delighted with that, as will the coaches. But this is the defending world champion in the beam, Lavinia Milicevic, who's had a good start to this competition. She was first in, first and second, I should say, in the two qualifications yesterday. And now she has just beam and floor to do. Well, if the owner has anything to go by, she was last to go off in the beam finals at Birmingham. And it was highly unlikely for her to win, but everybody else had done so badly. She seems to be one of those gymnasts who might enjoy going up. The pressure's really on her now. She knows what she's got to do. Couldn't afford that. obviously getting to her, she's handling it. Two or three adjustments on those three little jumps. Podka Payeva had an excellent routine, but she had some large wobbles. But of course, that's all she had. Just those two large wobbles. Everything else was so steady. Milosevic, Landa Dismount, home and dry. Yes, she's in. 